Hi everyone, another week went by and this is what I've done. I mostly worked outside on the landscaping. I do not plan what I'm doing in any given week. It really depends on what kind of contractors come to the house and what is currently being done. Um, so this week, um, the most of my attention got some uh, landscaping. I cleaned up everything, everything around the entire chateau at this point and some extra I will show you shortly. So this area here that you're looking at, we refer to it as a jungle. It has some interesting plants and a tree is blooming and nobody ever dares go near. So I took my clippers and I was determined to clean that up and get rid of once and for all of all the ivies. Um, but I must admit, I wasn't sure I was going to get it done. I'm getting my clippers and we'll be right back. And like with anything, the first step is usually the most difficult. So after I started clipping off the branches, um, I realized it's probably not that bad. So I just went with the flow. And this is my second pair of rakes that didn't make it. I think I will be able to save them, but that's what usually happens when I do gardening. So as I'm cutting all the shrubs, I notice I think there's something in there. Um, I don't know, is it a structure? Do you see? I'm not sure you can, how well you can see it, but the ivies are growing onto something, maybe from different side. Do you see how the ivies are uh, leaning on something? It's like a, I don't know, it's like a big step or something. I would be curious to see what it is. I have to find a way to uh, like get through. I'm not going to put my foot in them right now. Uh, but hopefully, maybe by next week, I will be able to see what's under those ivies. So guys, I think I know what it is. Look. I think it's another pile of wood in there. It's a disaster. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I can't even get in there. Those ivies are grown, have grown into the wood. I'm not sure if this can be removed, but I have to remove it. There is everything living in there too. Oh boy. So this is really bad news actually. This is a rotten wood covered with tons of ivies. And when I try to pull the log out, it just crumbles. And then the ivies on top of it made a net. So there is no way for me um, to get those things out but it does have to be uh, cleaned up i think it's detrimental to the house and all the woodworm that is sitting there you can only imagine it's probably right in the floor beams in the in the chateau so sad they let it happen but um, it is what it is um, so i trimmed the tree a little bit i don't know if you can see and here there's some on the porch So it looks better, but this will be a real problem. So, um, yeah, I did say maybe I will get to it next week, but um, I just couldn't stop thinking about it and really did my best. And it took a lot of effort, but this is where we are now. It looks much better. I was able to remove most of the wood, I think. There are tons and tons of ivy roots you can see them some of the roots are about one meter long or even longer um it's very the ivies are really making this job very difficult um i think this is a piece of uh, kitchen equipment i found and also in the meantime to break up that boring task what i'm doing i decided to collect all the wood logs that were okay and make another garden parcel.
also near that pile of wood right here there was this bush growing and the only reason i thought about it is because the rest of the wood that is under the stairs is um, accessible from this side and then this uh, bush is growing here so i initially i thought i'm just going to give it a trim but i think it's getting too big and it has four large roots now um, and then i also realized we have the same bush in the driveway at the front of the property and that tree right now is about 10 meters tall so this is not like a small bush that is going to stay this way look this one's shooting up already so guess what i am going to try to cut it down my husband doesn't know anything he said don't trim it too much well let's see what happens so let's give it a low trim and of course as i started trimming i couldn't stop and then i noticed there is a big tree stump coming out of the ground and the current trees there are five of them are growing out of that tree stump and i didn't like that a lot so someone obviously uh, there used to be a tall tree and someone cut it down and these are the remainings the tree is coming back so uh, unfortunately i will need to cut it off entirely and this is what it looks like the sun is out it's, uh, we have a very nice day today so i decided i'm going to make some cupcakes and this is just a triangle for making uh, to frost the cupcakes okay just joking i have a cement quick cement some water bucket and i'm going to be filling holes in the stairs and there's some in the walls in the chateau fall is coming winter is coming everything else is coming inside the chateau so i'm going to cement all the holes i can around the chateau and i will tell you how i'm going to so I'm going to do, I have a little paper cup to scoop out the cement, gloves, silicone spatula for mixing. The cement will not stick to it and uh, once it dries I can just sort of like uh, uh, flick it off. And then a uh, few rubber bands. Um, let's, so I'm just going to put the rubber band at the end of that uh, triangle just so when i pour the cement initially in it it doesn't come out and it will go in here then i will tie it from this side and then untie this and hopefully i can fill some holes never done this before this kind of this method so uh, let's see let's see if it's going to work but in all seriousness i'm just a little bit under the weather so i needed something easy I've done so much landscaping this week, I am sick of it, and I did get sick a little bit actually. So um, today we're just doing this. So I'm just mixing the cement with water and then I'm filling up that uh, triangle. So here's the hole, I don't know if you can see it from this angle. Uh, let's see, let's cupcake it. And here is another one that I'm going to cement that goes from here all the way up to here. And so I'm just going to make some cement and pour it in there. And the problem with the fast drying cement is that it dries real fast. This one was actually drying up under five minutes, um, so it was a little difficult to work with. So I think for the rest of the remaining holes that I need to patch, I will probably get a regular cement, which dries up up to 24 hours. And I actually didn't realize how big of the hole that one was. I had to mix the cement twice, um, twice or even three times to fill that hole. It seems like the cement was going somewhere and disappearing. So it took me a while to patch it really nicely.
but here it is and hopefully I was able to close the point of entry to move many many bugs. And this is by the way um, a foyer and that wood was replaced at some point. It needs to be primed and painted. I actually was hoping to get to it this week, but um, I did a bunch of landscaping instead. Starting next week, I will be working on another apartment and I will make sure to take pictures before and after. I really do not know why I didn't take enough photos this time. And I'm just scraping some of the cement from the wood panels. They're going to be painted basically where the cement is not supposed to be. And you can see what it looks like now. Obviously this has to be a uh, vacuum. I don't have a vacuum here still. So, uh, but I think it's much better. At least nothing is coming in from this side. And also this little rose fell off the fence. It's been here for a while now and fits in like a puzzle. So I will try to attach it. And I also used um, a roll of a shelf liner to hold the rose in place. Although this is a quick drying cement, so the drying time is literally five minutes. And since I was already playing with the cement, uh, I decided to attach a large piece that fell from the back of the porch, from the pillar. Um, I will show you the final effect. Uh, so today I'm still cleaning the outdoor space and I noticed when I was cleaning near that terrace there were some little trees growing that looked just like that and then I realized they are offshoots from th this tree so then I used the google lenses to identify what it was and it looks like this tree is called the tree of heaven and the leaves have a very distinctive smell not very pleasant but it's very strong especially when i uproot them and there's always a lot of uh, uh, spiders around that tree i guess they are attracted by the smell but i went on google lens to see what kind of tree it is and it pointed me to a tree of heaven and it is extremely invasive species so what i'm trying to do look how it's spread it out here what i'm going to be doing today i'm going to be cleaning this all up at least that's my goal is i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to uh, complete the task but this is what i'm doing today Look at some of the roots. They look just like that. So I did just about half hour of work. And it seems like I removed a lot, but there's still a lot to go. So I'm just going to continue. I think I've been able to remove about uproot 90%, which is pretty good for now. 
the large ones they might be hard to uproot i might just need to cut them but i am actually thinking about putting under that tree some uh, vinegar and salt it did work on some other plants at least to weaken the root for now and we will have that um, tree removed so i think this is it i cut on all of them at least those that i could reach they need to be raked and taken away but there are none there's some here in the back where the woods are um, my little clipper cannot face them though i need um, probably a saw or something like that i'm just going to keep an eye on them for now but there is nothing coming closer to the house at this point i got them all And for the once a week uh, adventure kind of thing, we didn't do anything special. We just hiked up onto the local chateau. And here's the view on the city. And soon you will be able to see the view on the Loa River. It's truly spectacular. And this is the view. It is really worth the hike. And it was such a beautiful, sunny Sunday morning. And as always, thank you for watching. Till next week. Bye.